Thank you so much for staying tuned to Space 90.1 FM. You know, we set new standards on a daily basis. We lead, they copy us, they follow us. There is none, there is none in the universe who stands with God that is not being copied. So let them copy. <laughs> we lead, they follow. We set new standards in broadcasting. I welcome you once again to an exciting, another exciting episode of Stargaze. We call it Ayedun with Oloye Leko Alabi e Kefa Olubadon of Ibadan Land. This episode promises to be exciting. Good morning. Before we delve into the program proper, I'd like to remind our listening audience that the objective of this program is not for, for praise singing, adulation, or glamorizing any individual. Its major purpose is to showcase and the positive roles of personalities in discourse, their positive influence and impact on our society, as well as others. Uh, make make others learn from their positive strides and take a cue from them. The program also wants a younger generation to learn from lessons of our heroes either alive or in afterlife. And today, our personality in focus is the Ekefa Olubado himself. He deserves the accolades today. And is is amiable, amicable, glamorous nature and humble disposition we cannot overlook his birthday celebration. Ekefa Olubado of Ibadan Land, Oloye Lekwalabi, clocked 71 yesterday and he's still looking very agile with a lot of pomp. I'm sure if you go on the race, Oloye Lekwalabi <laughs> will, will strive hard with me. Uh, his energy amazes me. And you know, he has told us the secret for retentive memory. <laughs> Studying hard and then taking Oka and Oyo. <laughs> Oloye Lekwalabi is ever glamorous, radiant, smiling, full of life. And his attire is one thing that is uh, an emblem that you cannot separate him from. Good morning. Oloye Lekwalabi is our guest today. He's, uh, he has been our guest analyst, but today we are going to celebrate him. He's going to tell us a little bit about his past, his present, and what he looks forward to in the future. Good morning. Benny, a lafia, uwo, ola, oro. Ile ra pikpe. Tori, eh, olo ele kwa labi, mi orobi on tun uwo momo ba, eh? Uwo momo, uwo momo. Papa, ibeji, koma je, omomo. Omomo. Ok, eh, eh. Benny, yifun la yin, bebiche, yifun uwo moni. Tori, yamo, a lafia, uwo ato mo. Omo mo lo kuta yin, uwa ba, eh? Eh, eni kwen yin man so long. Eni kwen yin man so long. Ok, ah, eh, jen, eh, jen da mo. Eni kwen yin man so long. Eh, jen da li. Ono ma lo mo la. Eh, Tonton den, mouti dali. Baba, emi gigun, ola oro, alafia, 
ati ajin de ara hm on la gbadura fun yin adura nla ni e hm papa julo alafia alafia olo ma fi a isan se wa se won ba fe wo bi alafia se wuwo to ko be ren to ba ni nkan tan pe ni aisan ba lason valeria fever ni tori kini gbogbo en to fe toju egon yo ko fi ikora do to ko fi mu won ikora ben awon wa gbe ti na la de fe se o se be so pe ka tun ma yin wa ka lora tu o fun la ro la la na so pe tu wo lohun yin je bo ki lo nje be ani o fe kon ti e kuro tori oro yen ariwo ni lodo e ikora ni sugbon ti alaafia ba nbe bi ojo ba ti la bai ben iyan koko sha draft iyan dupe lowo olohun awa ma gbero bo se fe lu ojo yen to ba ye abe pilo re wo gbogbo wo to ko sibe lale ana to pe pere pere abi awon ti won do nkan asiko si ton pe ni kan check ye balance won ni bank to ba ri po tun kun duti ye ana lo idunu denu ben ilera ilera ma je ni ara ma mukun ani o ti ji layo alati gan ni ilera ti o ti ji pe layo owo re ben idunu re alafia re ala anala alo ti ji layo o gbo ni o ti ji ara pe owo re idunu re yo mo fo ni in fact yo ni eh omo kan be e gbe aso yen wa aso ti te lo ko wa ni jeta hmm. yes abi e ti lo ton fo to ton olon ko to ma fun ani alafia ara o owo iduna iyi ati eye ka wa le mi gigun lori alafia yen ran Lekan Alabi is a veteran journalist, PR consultant, author, public affairs analyst on radio and television. E Kefa Olubadon fi Badoland and the first culture ambassador of the National Museum and Monument. Ileife. He clocks 71. He's <laughs> born in his hometown, Ibadan or your state. Alabi attended the Seventh Day Adventist Primary School, Okefoko, Ibadan, 1958 to 1963, and was class captain from primary one to four. He was a school male boy in primary five and head boy in his final year, 1963. He attended African Church Grammar School, Akwata Ganga, Ibadan, in 1964 to 1969. He was a class teacher at St. John's. Anglican Primary School Akinajo I hope I'm correct sir Akinajo near Arulogun Arulogun Ibado from 1971 to 1972 he was appointed the first editorial assistant at the Onibon J Press Limited Ibado in 1972 from where he joined the Sketch Publishing Company Limited Ibado in 1973 as a reporter writer reader grade 11 Grade two, rather. Alabi traveled from uh, SPCL Sketch to further study in 1976 at the College of Journalism, Fleet Street, London, United Kingdom. On his graduation from the College of Journalism, London, he joined the former Nigerian television Ibadan, from where he left in 1982 for the services of the newly established television services of Old Oil State, TSOS, now called. BCOS TV as a founding star. He was the first reporter to appear on TSOS and the first chairman of the TV station Chapel of the Nigerian Union of Journalists. Alabi was seconded from TSOS in 1983 as a press secretary to the late governor Bola Ige, son of Old Oyo State, and served three military successors of Ige till March 1989 when he was appointed by the military governors 
of the Odua Investment Company Limited, owner state of Oyo Oguanondo, as the pioneer public affairs manager of the conglomerate. He voluntarily retired as the first general manager, corporate affairs of the Odua Investment Company Limited in 2006. Oloye Lekwalabi is listed in Nigeria's Wuz Wu. He is married. He married former Miss Adetokumo Laditon at the St. John's Wood Anglican Church, Hampstead, London, UK, on 12th August 1978. And they are blessed with adorable children and grandchildren. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Oloye Lekwa Labi, I never regret one day of knowing you. Ah, thank you. Your sagacious wisdom and your humble, amiable, amicable nature is like the nectar that draws people to you. Thank you. You have some flashback. You are now 71. Plus one. Plus one. Day. Today. Plus one day. Plus one day. <laughs> Plus one day. Yeah. But there are some things, you know, you would look back at age five or age six mm. and it would seem like yesterday. Mm. Let's do a flashback. Fondest memories while growing up, particularly while you were in primary school. Mm. What are those things, the, the things you remember fondly? Thank you very much. My paternal grandmother. Mama Asmau Esu Odola Alabi, wife of my grandfather, Patana, Papa Abdusalam Adebola Alabi of Ileoye, SW2-486, is a legible badon, was a trader, textile trader at the Lalupon. Railway station because her nephew, Papa Asani Adeshoko, had one of the largest cocoa farms in Lalukon in the 1950s. And I remember clearly Mama Asmau waking me up early in the morning of a day before Lalupon market day. Hmm. We board the lorry at first at Ojaba, then gate, and go to Lalupon. And she doted so much on me because she was told and she believed that I am the reincarnation of her grandfather, Obanlaja Ajengbe, a Kenny Balogun of Ibadan land. Mm. In Mama Asmau's own right, she was the woman leader of the NCNC in Ibadan land under the leadership of Alaji Honorable Adegoke Adelabu Kwenkelemes. Mm. So, from what I gathered later in life, she was trying to make me an Adebo Kadilabu. Because Adelabu would come to our house to see her, the woman leader, and she would go to Adelabu's house, Okeoluokun, and they would go to campaigns in Ibadan, Ilesha, and other places. So, Anybody in the family had been warned not to physically punish me in any form. Whatever offense I made, she, she desired. You were pampered. I was. <laughs> because she thought I was a reincarnation, a reincarnation of her grandfather. Oh, so you were deified. <laughs> yes, you could say that. And I still remember clearly hmm. many uncles, aunties, and saying that, ah, yeah, eh, but my yeah. And she would reply, you know, me, but 
in private you come in so gbon nkan ti won wi to ba se mona mona ah in no jati ni hmm. but thank god e mi na o se mona mona <laughs> somebody was doting on me hmm. what you so they must not send me on errands i must not carry any load on my head so as you said people were thinking i was being pampered but she would tell me in private be careful hmm. don't do this these are your do's and don'ts and i never violated all those rules i never so if i wanted to eat guinea fowl eh all i needed to do would just be to be shaking on like, the bed at night like a god <laughs> i was shaking like so no like somebody like who has got a cold oh okay <laughs> boop, 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 boop. ah she will start running up and down kilo de kilo mwe touching my forehead kini kon kini kon and i will just say mo fe je etuni o mo fe je etuni o olohun gbo the following day one etu meji no marawa o en ti o ba mo tu mo etu awo e bo ton e fun ton e fun ma je o and i was i thank god you read in my citation i was class captain seven day adventist primary school kifoko from primary 2 hmm. to primary 4 always coming first then i was the school mail boy uh, 1962 primary 5 mail boy meant leaving okifoko on foot hmm. at 11 am for seven day adventist primary school okibola the headquarters po box 19 collecting the mails for the school for the teachers and other sundry errands hmm. male boys will be given a bag where you put all these things there and there was a standing rule you must not buy sweet not talk of eja eja didi hmm. eja didi marun hmm. you must not buy just like a robot but today in reflection i can see that those principles molded one's life if your letter is put right in front of me now unsealed i will not touch it mm. not to talk of open why do I, why do i want to read a letter not ad, uh, addressed to me so i remember all those things but spectacular ones at um, lalupo it was at lalupo that mama saw my own biological mother mama mukolo la beje I know I want to call her my mother okay. my phone okay me and usually when it is my eve of my birthday she will say leo ojigwede she will pray and then oh, the re- remark with Tom and Fisi hello mama funny to me which she did yesterday put ah hey omo de o pe dagba o emi na wa bere pe omo de wo and you want on ni about yo Uh-huh. It was that she saw my mom and sent for my dad we on to barrier. So you could see everything tailor made. Tire lu e ba tin bo bai. To ro ma duro ni iwaju station lalupo yen be ni mama tin ta so. Awon agbalagba mi won ati e ti salo. We are talking of locomotive auto man you feel only not talk of kids but here leko alabi abdul rashid akom will stand gidigba in front of the train awo mo pe train ni o nje relu e la npe train ni ngba ta wa keke and they will greet me i will greet them but as i said given all the freedoms but for the golden rule mm. don't ever misbehave and thank god here we are today no but if you say you are in this country in the last 15 20 years when they see you as a disciplinarian oh, I'm sorry mm. uh, but what they will look on me my policy is that we must all respect the law once you respect the law the law will respect you and protect you all right we'll take a breather uh, while we bask in the euphoria 
of your celebration. You are worthy to be celebrated. Thank you. 365 days, 71 cycles. Yes. That's the way I count it. For, Anytime I celebrate my birthday, yeah. I remember that I have spent another 365 day cycle. Mm, yes. And it's not easy because yeah. a lot of events have overridden those days, good, bad, ugly. Yeah. So for somebody to go through 71 cycle of 365 days, mm. it's awesome. Thank we'll, you. We'll be right Th- back. Uh, we'll be right please. back. Let's take this. Oh. I want you to enjoy your moment. Oh, please go on. Go on. <laughs> All right. Let's take this breather. We want to enjoy some music. We want to celebrate Oloyele Kwala, the Ekefa Olubadon. I will open the phone lines because a lot of people want to call in to wish you a happy birthday. Ah, that's lovely. We'll be right back in a moment. This is still Stargaze on Space 90.1 FM. When I work, you know. When I work, I must get paid. Don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, try and understand. Listen. My poor parents worked from sun up till sundown. Peace could not be found. Now they are under the ground. I've heard them complain and cried out in pain. See. The phone lines are buzzing. People want to wish Ekefa Olubado a happy birthday. Uh, the phone lines are buzzing, buzzing very quickly. Okay, I'll, I'll, I think I'll start taking the calls so that we can allow people to greet Ekefa Olubado. Let's go on. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Saying happy birthday to my father again. Thank right. you. Baba. Hi. Did you remember Ebeka Anthony? Ebeka Anthony, I want you to say something about him. Thank you. He wrote one book for you. Songs. Oh. 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 Yeah. Emeka was the. He's a former national secretary of the Association of Nigerian Authors. He's a former chairman, Association of Nigerian Authors, on your stage. True, yeah, he wrote that book to celebrate my birthday. Yes, I remember him. Mm. I remember him. Now, Olu Elekwan Labi, who are those from your flashback? There'll be some very... You, you you went through a plethora of interaction with several people in life, but there are some particular people of note that you know, that are, apart from your grandma, there are others that you know that your relationship with them molded you to be the man you are today. You want to mention their names and give them credit. Thank you very much. Uh, apart from my relations, and uh, you've mentioned my the, the, my my the best inspiration, my paternal grandmom. My teachers from primary school, particularly Mrs. Esther Ola, who was the headmistress 
in my final year in primary school as a uh, seven-day Adventist as senior prefect. Only two of us obtained the 1963 common entrance form for secondary school education. As a, the practice at, at that time, when you bought the common entrance form, you are going to fill two schools. So I filled government college Apata Ganga Ibadan. Let's take this call. Uh, Hello, good morning. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. I wish my dear What's your name, sir, and where you're calling from? Oh, yeah, this is from Apata. From Apata. Thank you so much. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you. 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 Amen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, myself, my parents paid, of course, 10 and 6. 10 shillings. We have another call. All right. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good I'm morning. The presenter. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. My honorable chief. And Obalala. Sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I want to sing a song for you. All right. We need to Happy get into the studio. Do you need the musical you. instrument? Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Papa. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, sir. I wish you many happy months of a long life and prosperity. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, so, sir. Myself and one other classmate, Freeman Tonara, the, his parents were from the South South, and his father was a police officer. We have another call. <laughs> we'll be, you'll be getting a lot of calls today. Good morning. Who is on the line? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm um, um, uh, Nice I having you, sir. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. And um, I'm a product of African church. Uh huh. What more? One on I want to believe that you can attest to the fact that one of the best principles we had then was about the short day. He was the founding principal. Founding principal. Do you acknowledge that? Uh, I'm coming. I'm just leaving my primary school stage to go to come to uh, grammar school stage. Thank you. So, right. thank you. So, we have another call. Today is your day, sir. You must receive these calls. Hello. Hello. Good, yeah, good morning, sir. Sorry for this. I've been more like any day again. All right. Papa, hey. don't forget our appointment with you. Hi, and allergy at the bottom. Thank you. <laughs> you promise me. Uh, hello, All right, me. sir. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Okay, sir. Uh, Freeman Tonara. We were the only two finalists of Seven Day Adventists that bought common entrance. So I filled Government College Ibadan, Hossi College, Wari. Hmm. But, what do they say now? Surprise of all surprises. Officials of the old Western Region Ministry of Education came to our school to see the facilities on ground for the first living primary school examination of that year. And we had just one arm of primary six. Instead of the minimum of primary 6A and B. So what did the officials recommend? That our class be cancelled and the students distributed to nearby primary schools. Hmm. So I and some of my mates were taken to Ansaruddin Primary School, Kifoko, which is nearby. Bioku Primary School and other places. In the heat of the confusion because it never happened in the school before that a primary six will be cancelled primary six class mama ola esther ola the administrator was thrown into confusion she forgot to submit our forms wow she forgot in the heat of the confusion which is understandable even as i'm talking to you right now radio started announcing the dates and locations of examinations, entrance exams to government college, Ibadan. 
So, since uh, we have been, I've been forced out of uh, seven day. My yeah. grandmother. We have another call. So, hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. hello good morning, sir. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. No, this is Saka. I'm speaking from Togo. Okay. I want to greet Saba. I want to congratulate him for his birthday. Thank Papa, you. I always tried to start of you. That's really why I did. I now saw your after your dream. Thank yes, you, sir. Ah. I think that you're on the radio station like this. I used to very be Thank you. Because you always make me reason. Thank you, sir. I'm happy that I have you as an Italian man. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday to you, long life and prosperity. Thank you. I'm Akonde Abiodun by name. I say, thank you, Mr. Akonde I would love, I would love to meet my namesake. He said his name is on Lekon, Ola Lekon. Okay, so, sir. when we got to school that morning, Papa, uh, father of Freeman, Mr. Tonara, the police officer, also came to ask the center. The administrators broke down in tears. She had forgotten to mm. submit our forms. So Mr. Tonara turned around in anger and almost slapped Mrs. Ola. Hmm. She's late now. May I so rest in peace. That you want to ruin the life of my boy. Why must you forget to submit his form? But Mama, my grandmother now appealed to Papa, Mr. Tonara. Say, what has happened has yeah. happened. Don't let us cry over spilt milk. Hmm. But Mr. Tonara demanded the refund of 10 and 6. So Mrs. Ola gave Mr. Tonara, Tonara 10 and 6 pence refund. I tried to give Mama my own 10 and 6, but my grandmother said, No, it's not your fault. Hmm. You forgot. And we will not forget in the confusion that a whole, for the first time in the school, primary 6 was cancelled. So keep it, keep the money. Ah, Ms. Ola knelt down, was so surprised that that would be the reaction of my grandmother. So Mama, my Ms. Ola now said, there is a new school near government college, Apata Ganga Ibadan. It is called African Church Grammar School, Ibadan. And they are just in Form 4. It's a new school that any Oniko be missing. Baba was the founding principal. Of that school. I want to do the bookstores. Okay. Uh, may so rest in peace now. And Mama Ola said, it's a new school. The principal is a disciplinarian. Mm. So instead of giving me back the tenancies, she went to buy the entrance form of African Church Grammar School on my behalf. So when the date for the exam was near, she sent for me and gave me all the papers. In short, I wrote the entrance exam for African Church Grammar School, passed, was interviewed, and I was given admission. So I entered African Church Grammar School, the popular Afro, January 1964, as a Form 1 student. So anytime the government college boys strayed into our school, making younger and all that, I was looking at them that, Ejo mm -hmm. if Mrs. Ola had not forgotten to submit my common entrance, I will be in your school. I would have to interject you. Time is running out, but you must enjoy your day. Let's enjoy some music. You are still tuned to Space 90.1 FM. It's Stargaze. Are you doing? And my guest, our guest, has always been Oloye Lekwan Labi. E Kefa Olubadon Vibadon. He celebrates 71. That is 365 times 71. So you know how many days he has spent on Earth. It's awesome and is a magnificent human being that is worthy of celebration and we need to celebrate him. Baba, you need to dance to this music. We'll be right back after this breather. <laughs> Happy 
We do sincerely thank you and appreciate you for staying tuned to Space 90.1 FM. And the program is still Stargaze with Oloye Lekwa Labi Ekefa Olubadon of Ibadan Land. Clocked 71 years and a day. Another 24 hours. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy to sleep and wake up. Oloye Lekwa Labi, you were doing a summary of those who have impacted your life positively. Yes. I think you want to, you want to do it. Uh, this uh, yeah. Let's make a, what do they call it now? A fast track. All right. Mrs. Ola, who obtained African Child Grammar School on my behalf, did not feel my complete surname. She only wrote Rashid Ola Doshu. Did, she didn't put my father's full name of Abrahim Ola Doshu Alabi. Hmm. My father was Abrahim Ola Doshu Alabi, alias right time. But she just put Rashid Ola Doshu. You know, it was a confusion time for her. Mm -hmm. So when I got to African Child Grammar School. My father twice came to meet Baba Ola. That he, his full name is Rashid Ola Lekon Alabi. And not Rashid Ola Doshu. So many of the students, my males, juniors, will always say, okay, ah, Senior Rashid. Yes, that's my Muslim name t today. Okay. But Ola Doshu is not my surname. Alabi is the surname, which was rectified later in life. Right. So from secondary school, I must mention Mrs. Uh, Margaret Odu. She was Miss Margaret Spiff. Hmm. I was one of her favorite English language, English literature students. The other was uh, Miss Shola Shonoiki. She now lives in the US. From there, I went to uh, teach in a village school. And I, I remember Mr. Indy, he was the headmaster of that school, Akinaju. I remember when I started working, my first job was as a teacher in that school. From there to Onibonje Press. I and remember Onibonje. Uh, some of the books, Lele. there were books oh, written, very Onibu, beautiful books. Onibonje was books. the best educational printers in West Africa, hmm. funded by Baba Gio Onibonje. When I was in school, I must mention, I was very poor in mathematics. I don't know the reason to, I'm talking to you now. Me, the Gwayawo, Mazo, at physics, <laughs> but very poor. Hmm. So, only Boje now advertised for accounts clerks. And I'd been taking correspondent courses from African Church in journalism because I wanted to be a journalist. So, we applied. I was invited for exam, interview at Oniboje premises. Baba Oniboje, ni nko biya go manu, yroli o chota lo si, don wo ye, nan wang kwe wu gwa jade, wan la wang, tan wang ba kwe, tan ba dar kwe, bosa kwa bi. He called some names. He now told us, I want you want successful ni yo, these are the successful candidates. If you still want, uh, interested in our company, when we advertise, please apply. On, jaka de man lo, hey, wait, 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 all of you. Who is Mr. Lekon Alabi, among you all? I raised my hand. He said, I should step aside. Kilode, you came first in both the written and oral interview, but your mathematics very weak. Hmm. And since we are looking for accounts clerk, you don't qualify. But based on your general performance, we are appointing you the first editorial assistant of this company. Wow. Eh? So that's how I started from um, Onibonji to Sketch Publishing Company Limited and Mr. the late Mr. Philip Bamideli Adedeji, the editor of Sunday Sketch. I just wrote one boy, see Yoruba desk, boom, boom, sketch, and I had a column, uh, Murifiri. Uh, Omar, by Omar Biko. What's that column about? Morifiri? Uh, I love that. Uh, uh, Morifiri. Hmm. In a flash. That's okay, the translation. I, yes. uh, Mr. Ade Onokoya Ade Banjo, deputy editor. 
Lo for me, I want to cut to Columbia. Mm. Mm. So I now wrote a summary of a social party that I attended, and the band was playing exactly like Ebenezer Obey International Brothers, led by one Mr. Komolafe. Ah, but they more more international brothers. We any more woni. Excuse me, but only break now. Hey, are you a second set of Obey? The man got angry. He said, We are not a second set of anybody. All of us are copying to the Nightingale. Oh, one bay. Ebenezer Obey, Sonia Deo, O Darko Goe. Only bought on one phone, copy in Tonshe, and we put any Miliki, and Sonic put any Synchro. I was, I, and I like people who are blunt. Hmm. So I wrote and I gave it to the editor, and he published to the surprise of myself and others because Moshe Walati only Boji was his sketching. One day we miss boom boom. So I want to come to Beresin Tenbole, the so called senior school, Boni. Hmm. That Mr. Dedeji, the editor, was going to be using me as a country pipe because Moshe Wani Bung Bung here, Tobacco Confu Sunday sketch or daily. That's the encourage They will give you a stipend. So one of them, Mofe Magba, one year, came back from editor. The man asked me, Who wrote the article you gave me? I said, Hi, sir. Are you sure? I said, Yes, sir. He said, Go and write me another one. So I went to watch a play by Larry Wajo Adekoju at uh, Queen Cinema, uh, at uh, Bishop's Hall, and I wrote it. So me, Le Bagwe, Mr. Adedeji, he now gave me a column, later gave me the whole page, Sunday sketch. It's what's happening by Le Kwanlabi. Hmm. What's happening? Uh, that's it. <laughs> I will, uh, on my own, I will attend parties, films, review books, music, and co. Moshe Dore, I won't learn in here. Obeo, Sonny. At a moment, you could call on your phone and say, "But you are lucky." But when are you counter? Because if you came to Western region, uh, Western state, you must come to my table for a review of your book or or play. From there, I went to England, and I must remember my landlord, 82 Prince George Avenue, Stoke Newton, London, N16, Mr. Genusi. Was it your brother? Eh, uh, Jesha. Jesha, man. But. Of all the tenants, a mini favorite because my to get ready weekly laman so rent weekly. What's ready? Hmm. <laughs> and I will pay. You are still tuned to Stargaze on Space 90.1 FM. Let's enjoy some music. Today is still your day. I want you to dance. I want you to savor this rich moment for you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Pray for you all of my life that you would be my sun, my moon, my light. Now I testify you are so much more than I ever thought you'd be. Do you see my love? I can make that sun rise in our sight. I can make you shine bright from the inside. If I have to do it. Yes, it's happy birthday to Oloye Lekon Alabi and Kefa Olubadon. This is a special edition exclusively from Space 90.1 FM. When the Kefa Olubadon enters Space FM, know that there must be vibration. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Kefa is here with us, uh, happening in Space 90.1 FM, celebrating his birthday with us. We have, you know, a small, a small, a small, a talking stop for you, Ekefa. You mm -hmm. will, you will accept it from us mm -hmm. on behalf of the chairman, Otumba Dejoshibogun. Mm -hmm. We are, you know, 
we will we will snap pictures and uh, everything. Just watch out. Check mm-hmm. out the pictures on Facebook after this time out. Well, thank Although you. Mm. It's still your moment. Yeah. Thank you. What moments do you think you would have? Ah, I wish I could li- relieve this moment, this special moment in my life. And if you want to call, the numbers to call are 0704 633 to wish a kefa olubadon a happy birthday. 0704 633 or 0816 You can call in, the lines are open. Ekefa, over mm-hmm. to you, sir. Thank you. Relief. Well, I thank God because one of my philosophies is. Let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Is that Space FM? Yes, this is Space FM. Who are you speaking with us? Uh-huh. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is. My name is Wagan, well, calling from uh, Ring Road. Ring Road, okay. Your message. Yes, I'm delighted to hear Baba's voice again. Thank you. I want to wish and be a for Ulubado. Many happy returns. Thank you. May God um, prosper him, continue to prosper him in all Amen. areas. Amen. Especially with some health. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, Ekefa, uh, we have just three minutes. Uh, relief. Yes. Not actually, because my, my life has been a joy hmm. to me. I remember predicted. And all my paternal grandmother told me was like a film then, but everything is just falling in place. In place. Predicted. Oh, oh predicted. So I believe in destiny. Hmm. There is destiny. There is destiny. There is. I've moved with great people and I could see that, ah, there's destiny. Hmm. E.g. Alihaji Abulaziz Ashikolalao of Blessed Memory. Chief Sa, Chief Bodhi Akindele of Blessed Memory. Ali Haji Muhammad Jobifele of Blessed Mo- and those who are living, meaning Daruko, so that I uh, can uh, oh, we hmm. But they have been role models to me. Holom Koba wa de me go see. Mama Falake Sholanke, the first lady son of this country. Next year she will be 90 by the grace of God. She is also a great influence and role model in my life. So you, you now say relief. Missing government college. Hmm was avenged by my Aremo firstborn, who is now a practicing lawyer in the UK with his own family, Olayemi. He attended government college, 1991. I, I, ISI, International it's School, uh, school uh, it's University Badon. of Badon. I was supposed to be among the first set of students, but Mbunim Babami, not very 100 pounds per annum salary, school fees, yes, son. It was Dr. Mololu Oluloyo as Commissioner for Education, Western State, that went to uh, University of Badon and slashed the school fees. We want to practice apartheid. Otherwise, or more call up more war by the setting. To run chef on money, boni at our more super senior service in Nigeria. I must not forget Chief Bolagi of Blessed Memory. I served him as press secretary in 1983, but till they killed him. On Sunday, December 22, 2001, he was my, not only my mentor, he was seeking after my good. To the on law for the commissioner, 1992, government of uh, late uh, Governor Kola Poshola. Lai, Jacob Melo Bang, who was commissioner, I began to suffer me. If I see two mummy, near Gasha, I quit me, Uncle Bola. Kidden, he demanded at all feedback. Nomination on me because Uncle Bola was the godfather of SDP. AD. One of the me card carrying member uh, party one. Two. Me ni contribution, financial contribution. See a Three. Me attend the rally on Hori. So you now said I should leave Odua Timotisha and become a politician. Eh? Oga? Ejamawu. That's I must never forget Chief Bolaigi. Also, Dr. Yemi Farumbi. Dr. Farumbi was the secretary, WNTV, WNBS. When I applied in 1972 to join that station, and um, application, in their response, we were now directed to go to Yaba 
TEDRO of West African Examination Council. TEDRO means Test and Development, Test Development and Research Organization of WAEC, Yaba, to go and write written examination. When Nigeria was based on merit, I passed. I was in, invited for audition. Yeah. I know you have so much, but we have limited time. Mm. My producer has already flagged me down mm. three times, and I you need to obey. Uh, it's a standing by rule. By the grace of God, <laughs> by the grace of God, yes, you uh, will grant me this opportunity again, again and yes. I will seize it on October 27, 2022. By the special and grace of God. Forever. Like Baralong. Like Baralong. I must tell you, I'm not an angel. Yes. But my weaknesses are some other people's pluses. Mm. But I hate ingratitude. I hate disloyalty. Mm. I think Tom Anko in the eye service. Yeah. I never did. I will never do. I a driver to Wami, I press secretary. I left uh, governor's office March 30, 1989, after serving four governors. Urukanye, Tiri Misiu Tijani, Elias Tiro. Anon Mori soju 32 years after. 32. You know what he said? This program, Oloma Wami, Wasibi. 32 years ago. So, anybody who is an ingrate, disloyal, no, no, no. I service. No, no, no. I, uh, no, no. Bootlickers. Bootlickers. No, no, I can't stand them. All I right, can't. the program has been stargazed with Oloye Lekwan Labi, Ekefa Olubadon of Ibadan. We have to round it off. I wish we could speak more, we could spend more time. And Oloye has so much in his archive that he wants to let out, but we got to go. Uh, it's been awesome having you on this show again, Thank Oloye Lekwan Labi. Thank you. And my producer has been Ebon Oluwa Ogomu Iwa. Mm. My name remains Ambassador Demola Sonya Olu. And on behalf of the entire, on the entire space network, and uh, Otumba de Joshibogun. Otumba de Joshibogun sends his special regards. Ah, he's my he's, brother. He sends his special regards. Eh? Deji is my brother. Mama lo sobe, mama wa. Mama wa, Oshibogun. That is why I'm with you. Till tomorrow. We thank you so much. Yes. All right. So we'll meet you again on the same exciting, informative, and uh, hilarious episode of Stargaze. Same time next week. I remain Ambassador Demola Sonyaolu, and I say do well, keep well, stay out of trouble, stay healthy, stay hale and hearty. And Oloye, happy birthday. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs>